Having successfully defied the autocrats of the ether by providing entertaining Sunday programs, the Barker brothers say they must give up. Still, what about a last broadcast, boys? I'm sorry, I'm afraid we dare not give any more broadcasts. You see, we've both given a promise to the post office to discontinue this, and I'm afraid we must keep up to it. My brother's apparatus has already been dis uh, confiscated, and I don't want to lose mine. My brother and I had been experimenting for a number of years with wireless. Uh, naturally, most of our work had to be done on Sundays. Uh, of course, we only had the normal BBC programmes to listen to, and we didn't really appreciate these. Uh, we therefore hit on the idea of building our own transmitters, chiefly with the idea of communicating with one another for our own entertainment. Unfortunately, it appears that we violated some post office regulation, and the first knowledge we had of the fact was that the detective vans were in the sea trying to locate our station. My brother will tell you the rest. Uh, I happened to be Norwich number two station, uh, which was unfortunately caught by the uh, BBC tracking engineers. I've been told that the detective van was in the next street, and I decided uh, to continue to uh, uh, not let my listening public down. Uh, just as I was playing the last bars of God Save the King, in walked the post office officials. Anyway, it was good fun while it lasted, wasn't it, Gerald? It certainly was. <laughs>